Hey, what's going on? Builders Krosama here. So this is going to be an analysis video on the Hyakushiki to see exactly how good it is and if it's going to be worth your coins. Now I do apologize that I didn't make this video generally the same day if not the day after of the event. Uh, I really had a lot of things going on and I did become sick on Friday so I really couldn't invest the time necessary to make this video. Uh, but I'm feeling a lot better and I can actually have a little bit of, of the extra time to make this video. Uh, but before we get in that, I'm actually going to show you something real quick. So in arenas, I actually managed to get my ranking to 119. Uh, this is about, mm, what time is it now? It's about 10 p.m. Uh, so this is roughly about 12 hours after I completed uh, arenas. And I was at 111, so I only lost uh, 8 rankings, which isn't really bad. The, the, me losing rankings has slowly uh, declined like a, a, as far as the rates. Um, so I'm actually looking at possibly hitting the top 100 uh, when, when arenas conclude, I believe on Wednesday. Uh, but the one thing I want to talk about arenas is I found out this is my strategy. This is how I get a lot of good points. I basically hit my enemy down until they're like a sliver of HP left or armor. Uh, and then I use an EX finisher. Uh, for the most part, I use uh, Iron Impact. Uh, but I also use a power-up boost, so I'm using the sumo head, and I use that boost so that way I can get an extra increase in my damage, and then I get a really big overkill on the damage. Um, now I am using Barbatos. I am going to try with uh, a long-distance shooter uh, next go-around. So when the next event pops, I do want to try using the new Gundam, and I'm just going to see if last shooting is going to make any, if it's going to make any other any um, impression on the arenas, like as far as assessment points. Uh, if it doesn't, it doesn't, then I might just go back to Barbados, or I might just kind of custom, uh, customize a new mobile suit. But right now, I think what I'm using with Barbados and the sumo head is working pretty decently. Okay, and to briefly talk about the actual event. Um, so, we are, I already cleared everything. I got the, all, all the achievements. Uh, right now, the, big, the biggest thing that I would do, or the, the best mission I would do in order to get the most coins is going to be the EX Golden Ace, but I use replay tickets, uh, so that way I can just, hey, just go right through it. Uh, but I pretty much cleared out the entire shop already, so I'm not really needing anything else from the Golden Ace missions. I'm going to you know, continue to work on the hard missions to get the code uh, Pi, code Phi, um, mobile suits, so I really want to get all those parts and, you know, finally do maybe an analysis video on that MS, but uh, for the most part, I'm pretty much done with the Ace, and today, the SP missions dropped, and they're really easy, to be honest. Um, the, the first one especially, but the very hard mode, it's a little bit hard in a sense that it's more of an endurance game, and the MSs themselves aren't difficult. But I, I, I cannot see, I, I can't see myself clearing it under 60 seconds. It took me almost about a minute and a half to complete it, and I was using some pretty good mobile suits. But obviously, you can only use uh, speed, so, eh, uh, you know, I could probably tweak up a lot of my mobile suits, maybe even, you know, power up, uh, like, level them up a little bit more. But I'm not really one to invest uh, the resources into these mobile suits just to get 10 Haro chips, to be honest. Now, where do you get the Hyakushiki? Well, you get it into the Golden um, the golden Ace shop. So, well, the Golden Coin shop. Uh, so, it's only going to have the main core body parts. It's also going to have one melee weapon, and it's going to have two long-distance weapons, one beam rifle, as well as one bazooka. Uh, so, it's not going to have any shields. It's not going to have a pilot. Uh, really unfortunate. I really would love a Char pilot. Um, you know, I, I think it would have been pretty cool to have him. Uh, probably would have been... Either a long shooter or possibly a mid shooter, but hey, uh, definitely it is what it is. So we're going to go and take a look at the Hyakushiki right now. So we're taking a look at the head first, and yes, I do have it at max uh, level because you know what? You, you can get all the different parts for this. I know people complain every once in a while that I do uh, max levels for the default four, uh, four star parts, but you know what? Eventually you're gonna be able to get them, whether it's gonna be in-game campaigns, maybe you can select an extra part. You know, this game's very new, and I do feel some t uh, somewhere along the way uh, of this game's, you know, progression, you will be able to complete an entire four star part uh, to max value. Uh, so that's why I kinda look at it as the end game, not as like what you can do with it right now at level one. So we're taking a look at the Hyakushiki uh, at max level. Um, I'm not gonna take a look at the word tags. We're gonna take a look at the uh, word tags at the end of the, um, the assessment. And uh, just looking at what I'm seeing here, you know, honestly, the head, the head part isn't too bad. 
Uh, obviously, EX skill, it's Vulcans. I mean, I'm not really too interested in that. It's a good way to lower defenses. So this could be something that is useful for arenas. Uh, so like I mentioned before, how I, I basically whittle down uh, my opponent's HP until it gets small. Um, this would be good to use when you're like, maybe like just lessen their uh, their health, but have enough to where you can hit them with the Vulcans a little bit to lower down the defenses. Use a boost, and then your final EX is going to be a, uh, a finisher. Uh, so that's something I'm going to be looking at fairly soon. Uh, but I, I I don't really know what head mobile suit I would want to use. I would have to replace the sumo, and then I have to find a substitute for the sumo to get a boost. And that's a lot of different back and forth drops and replacements of word tags. And my word tags are very very good right now. Uh, but that, uh, you know that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about the Hyakushi. So the shot attack is actually really good. Um, that's something I'm very surprised about. But yeah, that that shot attack is pretty solid for a default three star. Uh, but yeah, I would just say the EX skill something to consider for arenas, but uh, for PVE, and eh, not really. So we're taking a look at the body. Overall, the stats are very mediocre, but the melee defense is actually okay. Uh, but I, you know, obviously, I would have liked that armor to be a little bit higher. Uh, now looking at the parts traits. Uh, with Excel, with Ace Excel enemy, uh, which means your enemy needs to have that word tag, not you. So this really only applies to the arena because I believe in PVE, none of the default enemies actually have a word tag. So if I'm wrong, please correct me in the comment section below. Uh, but to my knowledge, the enemies in PVE do not have any word tags. Uh, so this is very particular and much like the uh, Gabera. So not really digging this, but melee damage taken reduced by 20, and that's just a set damage. Reduced by 20 is like, meh, because what if you're getting hit by an EX finisher? What? Well, eh. I guess EX finisher, no matter what, you're just going to be finished, <laughs> to be honest. Um, unless you just have ridiculously high defenses and resistances. But if you're getting hit by a regular melee attack, I guess with each melee attack, it's not too bad to get reduced 20 damage. But honestly, there are way better bodies out there that have way better, um, you know, EX skills or even better traits. So, the body, I would not even bother putting any effort into. Now we're looking at the arms. So, I do like the uh, the arms. I, I think the melee attack definitely is not where it needs to be. Uh, there's much higher melee attack uh, arms out there, especially with the Barbados, as well as the Red Frame Stray. But this mobile suit isn't really made for the uh, melee attacking. Uh, it's definitely more of a shooter, so you can find something better out there, especially for the shooting, because look at the shooting attack, it's not really there as well. Uh, but the EX skill is going to be a B melee attack, piercing is going to be D, uh, power is C minus, that's already a bad thing right there. Uh, your cooldown is going to be six, ses 6 seconds in the initial, and then 21 seconds after. Unleash a combo with Saber in your right hand. Yeah, uh, arms are really bad. Um, once again, I probably wouldn't invest anything into it, um, that's just my personal opinion. You can definitely swap those arms out with something that's significantly better. Um, you know, I, I don't, I don't know, I can't really think of anything off the top of my head. Obviously, something like the new Gundam or even the Aegis would be uh, much better. But yeah, the, both the EX skill and the stats or the parameters on the uh, arms are not looking good. Now we're looking at the legs. The parameters are not going to be there. Uh, they're really not impressive whatsoever. Uh, for the part traits with the bazooka category equipped, shot spread reduced 15%. So. Now what I can say about shot spread is it's how far out the actual damage goes with the bazooka. I, I can be wrong because I know the bazooka is one of the weapons uh, that does like more or less an AOE attack. So I think when it says shot spread reduced by 15%, it's condensing a little bit more, more of that damage onto the main unit itself. So that could mean it's dealing more damage to the main enemy that you targeted. Uh, please let me know in the comment section below if I'm correct or not because I've looked all over the internet and I, I cannot find what shot spread really means in this game. But to my knowledge, it means the overall AoE damage and I think it's just condensing it more towards the actual targeted enemy. So uh, please let me know. Now for the backpack, once again, it's going to be what you would expect from a 3 star. And then looking at the parts trait with a 6 cell enemy, shooting power boosted 25%. Now this actually is not too bad, but once again, you are relying on your enemy to have a success. Um, it can be good, but it's so like it's such a particular type of um, of, of trait, and it's something that like 
let's say you get into a battle uh, in arenas with an enemy that doesn't have a Excel. Now you just have a wasted trait. Now it's not really too bad because I'm, I'm technically using a wasted trait with Barbados. Uh, my pilot is an outfighter, whereas my Barbados uh, arms are ha has an infighter trait. So I'm kind of wasting that, but uh, I have a strategy with it. So maybe you can have a strategy with this backpack, but you know, at least with Barbados arms, it's one of the highest in melee attack. Um, with this, you I mean, you better off using the new Gundam. Now with the Beam Saber, once again, very lackluster. The defenses aren't really too good. Uh, the melee attack is horrible. But hey, can can the EX skill save it? Eh, it really can't. <laughs> um, so yeah, D is going to be the piercing. B plus is going to be power. Uh, cooldown is going to be 8 seconds initial and then 30 seconds after. So it's going to be pretty long cooldown. Uh, but yeah, basically charging with your sword. Lowers hit enemies, gun plus beam resistance by 29%. So... This will be good if you're like going just to use this initially and then you just kind of start beam spamming, uh, beam, beam spamming uh, throughout the entire match because of those lower resistances. Uh, but it doesn't state exactly how long that resistance is basically lasts. I don't even know if there's a set default for these debuffs uh, for the EX skills because 9 times out of 10 they don't actually state when they, when they last or when you know they activate. Do they activate in the middle of the EX? Do they activate after the EX? Um, so it's, we definitely need a little more clarity on things like that. Okay, now looking at the beam rifle. Honestly, the beam rifle really isn't too bad. Uh, as far as the stats go, it's it's really good for a default 3-star. Uh, now taking a look at the parts traits, when attacking with beam, uh, basically anything that is beam, so uh, to my assumption, this is also including beam sabers. Uh, but EX skill power boosted 25%. So... If you're using an EX skill, such as the ones that come with the arms that has the Beam Saber uh, EX skill, that should activate this parts trait, so you're going to get an extra power boost of 25%. Now, that's something I wouldn't recommend is using something that's pretty weak, just to get a 25% boost that's going to kind of put it maybe close, like right below uh, what a really powerful uh, be like regular EX skill would do. Um, so this is something I would you know really tether with of a good ex skill that is already existing from a default four star um but yeah I, I think it's this is probably the best thing to come from the hakushiki and honestly this is a weapon i would personally use i don't really have an idea about what um you know what weapon i'm going to use because obviously i'm not going to replace like my rx 78-2's uh beam rifle with this because that ex skill is significantly better um, so I would have to have an EX skill that is more tethered to a melee weapon. Um, don't really know off the top of my head which one I would use. But yeah, uh, we're attacking with beam. EX skill power boosted uh, 25%. So maybe something with the arms as well. Uh, there's a couple of arms that ha actually has really decent uh, EX skills. I think the Gundam has a good backpack with the dual beam sabers. So that's actually pretty good as well. Um, but yeah, this is a good weapon to be honest. So we're talking about the clay bazooka now. Um, I really do like this weapon both in-game and off-game. I, I like it because I have the 2.0 Hyakushiki. I think it looks really good, uh, especially when it's kind of like tucked under the arm. That's like my favorite pose with a lot of bazookas. Uh, but yeah, the stats-wise aren't really too bad. The, the shot attack definitely um, is okay for a 3-star. But let's take a look at the EX skill. So dual wave is a physical shot. Pierce is going to be B+, which eh. Uh, power is going to be D, cooldown 21 seconds, first time is 3 seconds initially. So right at the beginning of the match, I mean, you're you're just going to let this go. And you can max this out, so that's that's actually pretty good. Uh, but hold bazookas in both hands and fire high power rounds. Um, now it says hold bazookas in both hands. I don't remember the Hakushiki having two bazookas, let alone two clay bazookas. So it's kind of odd. Um, I don't really know why, why it's dual wave. It should have been something else. Um... I haven't really watched a lot of uh, Zeta in the past. I, I cleared it, and I really don't remember it, him having two bazookas. But that's kind of interesting. Uh, I think it's really good. It kind of reminds me of the uh, Camphor's backpack. Um, there's a couple of other weapons that has the dual cassades as well. Um, so it's really good. I think this is a decent weapon for someone that's like maybe on a budget, and they don't really have all the like top-tier default four-star weapons. Uh, especially the Gundam's uh, bazooka or even the news uh, new bazooka, but yeah, this is a this is a pretty good weapon. Now, in terms of pilots, I would honestly recommend a mid or long shooter. 
Those are probably gonna be your best bets. I don't see this guy being a supporter. I don't be. I don't see him being any kind of like in or out fighter. Uh, I don't. I don't really see him being an all rounder either. Well, all rounder would be better than um, you know the, the melee fighters. Uh, but yeah, go with long shooter or go with mid shooter. So we're taking a look at the word tags. You're gonna have commander pretty much for all the you know items, uh, which is gonna be easy to bring to level five. Now you have mid range, uh, only one mid range I'm seeing, but you're also gonna have uh, two four space. You're gonna have uh, two ace excel, and you're gonna have two high mobility. Now let's take a look at what high mobility does. Now for commander, first uh, it's gonna raise shot attack and beam resistance five percent while active. So that's really good. You get shot attack five percent. That's what you're gonna want. Now, take a look at the high mobility, raise shot defense and beam resistance 5% while active. And I don't really think this should be a more defense oriented suit. So let's take a look at what the next one is. So with Ace Excel, it's going to be raise shot attack 10% while active. That's what you're going to want, my lads. Now for space, obviously it's going to be the space terrain, raise 1%, and then when the space terrain is active, then raise 3% to all parameters. But like I mentioned, not really what you want to go for. And then for mid-range, it's going to be raised shot attack and physical resistance 5% while active. So, uh, it's actually pretty much the same as Commander, except for just the beam and physical is swapped. So, uh, mid-range would be your second go-to, but obviously you're going to want to go for that Ace Excel because just maximize your actual shot potential is going to be like crucial with this mobile suit since it's kind of already on the weaker side. But yeah, other than that, I mean, it is looking really good. Um, one of my favorite designs, this is definitely based on the old high grade. Um, I really wish it was more based on the Master Grade, because if you're going to have the Master Grade Verka New Gundam uh, instead of the actual old high grade, why couldn't they do that with this? Why couldn't they make this look more like the 2.0 uh, Master Grade Hakushiki? That would have made me way, way more happy about it. But the design still is really good. I, I like it, but the high grade definitely looks a little bit more chubby <laughs> than what I like. Um, but yeah, very, very beautiful. I do love the color. The gold looks amazing. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and take it into battle. Okay, so I'm going to be going into the daily, just the normal mode. Uh, I am bringing one relief gunplay that has about 5,000 CPR uh, with combat power with me, just, just in case. Uh, so we're going to take a look at the skills and just see exactly how this mobile suit performs on the field. Alright, so going in... So I'm going to take the beam rifle and then, ooh, yeah, it's actually, I should, mm, okay. I didn't realize how actually weak the enemies were. But we're going to take a look at the Vulcans. Obviously, Vulcans are Vulcans. We're going to take a look at the Royal Heart. That's actually a really cool, that was actually a pretty cool weapon. Um, so we're going to switch out. I know you didn't really get a good look, but we're going to switch out the beam rifle for the actual uh, bazooka. So this time, I actually am not bringing Relief gun Gundam with me, because, uh, yeah, that was kind of dirty. Alright, so, just taking a look, doing some decent damage. Obviously, we're in normal mode. Alright, so, Vulcans, kind of disrupt them a little bit. So we got the Beam Sabers right here. So, Beam Saber combo, that should be, um, the actual Beam Saber itself. And then the Royal Heart, that is the arms, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, you know what? I forgot to actually show the dual, uh, the dual bazookas. So after this match, that's exactly what I'll do. So nothing really too, spe you know, spectacular here. Obviously, um, it's, it's just the basic looks. So uh, I'll go ahead and I'll switch to EX skill uh, for the dual bazookas, and we'll take a look at that. Okay, and I did make a mistake. The royal, um, the royal beam saber. That's actually for uh, the Beam Saber itself, and then the Beam Saber combo is for the arms. Ooh. So yeah. Bam. <laughs> that was actually very simple. So I like, I like the Royal Hearts look. I think that looks pretty cool. And doing some... Well, we're doing some damage. Bam. I kind of want to wait and get that, uh, that, dual, that dual wave built up a little bit more. Come on, man! Why are you getting all close to me like that? Ugh! I really do. I really want to do an assessment on the uh, Gothran. All right. And bam! Got that one. All right. Let's go ahead. That looks. That looks pretty good. But um. But yeah. I mean, overall, the 
EX skills are, are, are decent. They're not horrible, uh, but obviously there's a lot better. Okay, and so we did a little bit of customization, and here I am to show you uh, my custom Hyakushiki. Uh, so, I overall painting scheme, I kind of wanted to bring it a little bit more to the uh, the Zeta side, but obviously without the actual Zeta color scheme, it was a little bit hard. Uh, but yeah, I do have the Zeta body, which is really goddamn good, and I'm going to show you exactly what my ideas for this is. Uh, now, I won't go into stats and perimeters and all that, but obviously you see there's a lot of emphasis on the shot attack. Now, for the word tags, I did manage to get the both um, Ace Excel as well as the Commander. So that's going to be a 15% increase in my shot attack. Uh, so that's actually going to be pretty good. I'm keeping my uh, my pilot license to long shooter because I just really care about long shooting. Uh, that's the only thing I, I really that really matters in my opinion. Uh, now for traits, um, obviously I still could have had two more traits, but with dealing with the word tags and everything, I didn't really want the entire mobile suit to be a default four star mobile suit to be honest um so i really had to cut back on some things and for the most part this is a very realistic uh, mo mobile suit that you can really get um or at least customize so uh there's kind of two wasted spots because i have two ex skills that i'm not going to be using uh but for the hakushiki with bazooka category that's going to be a wasted trait as well um now it, i got the zaku 2 backpack because I do think this is a really good ability. With speed attribute, which it is, um, your uh, EX skill piercing boosted 13%. Uh, now this isn't a max level Zaku 2 backpack, but it is really good. 13% uh, is, is a fr pr fairly decent amount um, to get that extra piercing uh, damage. Now, uh, for the beam rifle, I kept that because we're attacking with the beam EX uh, skill power, boost 8%. Now, obviously, I could max that out and bring it all the way to 25%, uh, but I did not. And then from our array, uh, beam range weapon reload speed boosted 9%, so that's going to tie in with the beam rifle, so that's going to be really good as well. Uh, but for the beam rifle, the attacking, and the uh, the backpack, I'm going to show you exactly what, I, uh, what my intentions were with this. So here's all the EX skills. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is look at the Hyper Beam Saber. Now this is the Zeta Gundam body uh, actual weapon, so it's a beam melee, so this is going to be affected by uh, the extra boost from the Hyakushiki Beam Rifle. Now you see the piercing is going to be D on this. That is going to be boosted by 13% from uh, the actual backpack of the Zaku 2, which is going to be really good. Uh, but, you know, first time is going to be 29 seconds, so it's going to be a minute before I can actually activate this. But slay your foes with a single strike powered by your bio sensor. Raise melee attack of your squad by 16%. So I do think this is really good. Um, obviously, we're not too focal like on the uh, the melee side, but I, I figured this was a really good um, EX skill to utilize. Just so that way we can enhance that piercing since that was kind of the weaker side. Uh, but not only that, you know, we uh, we're also enhancing the overall power. So we're we're really just putting all of our money into this one EX skill. Uh, and just imagine if this entire mobile suit was completely powered up. Uh, obviously, it wouldn't be the strongest thing uh, walking around, but it actually would be a lot more fun and a little bit more competitive. Uh, now, what I did is I put Tall Geese 2's head on here, and it's going to raise my melee and the shot attack by 34%. So, I thought that was really good as well. And then for Royal Heart, um, I just kept that because, you know, why not? Obviously, we're still focusing on the shot attack, uh, but the shot attack is kind of just like... It's what our basic damage does. Now, if you really want, you can switch all this around, take out the hyper beam, so switch out the Zeta body, um, put in something completely different, maybe a hyper mode. So put in like the uh, uh, the Dragon Gundam or even the dual, uh, not the dual, the Rose Gundam to get a hyper mode activated, uh, which which is fine. Uh, but I really just wanted to kind of play around. I, I felt like putting the uh, the Zeta body is actually pretty cool, um, and it's still going to get a lot of the decent boosts. All right, so rolling into a, a hard mission, actually. I got one assistant with me. And it looks like he's just OP as well. But you can see our, our shot attack's actually pretty decent. We probably could have win here. We, we really could have win here all alone, to be honest, and we would have been fine. Um, but we can hold off for a little bit. Hopefully, actually, our uh, partner dies. Uh, so that way, we can just kind of, like, showcase a couple of the effects. Ooh, he's right on me. So we got our hyper mode activated. I think uh, we're gonna have some enemies coming in. There we go. Next wave. Exactly what I wanted. So offense is going to be up. Now let's go. Oh no. There we go. Just I love that. I love that animation. 
Hyper Beam Saber. Ooh, just spanked him. So now we gotta, we're gonna have those boosts. I'm actually curious how. Yeah, the boost isn't too bad. Oh no no. Let me come in all on me like that. Yeah. I I like I like this build, man. I know it's not like I'm not gonna invest in it whatsoever, but man, it's it's pretty damn fun. So yeah, I thought I don't know. I think it was a pretty interesting build, and that Zaku 2 backpack definitely is uh, a pretty good backpack. Like I know I kind of shit on the, uh, the Zaku 2 back in the analysis video, but. Honestly, that backpack is something, and I think that can really tie into a lot of good builds because if you have builds that have really a uh, primary emphasis on the power and it has a D in the piercing, I mean, boosting up that piercing is going to be pretty phenomenal uh, with just getting some extra damage in. So um, maybe look into using that backpack in some future builds. Obviously, don't break your entire mobile suit and destroy the st uh, stats just for it, but hey, it could be something fun to kind of mess around with. Uh, but honestly, that's it for me guys. So I, I had a pretty good time with this. I really enjoyed um, You know just kind of like messing around with uh, the Hakushiki now for my final thoughts on it This is what I'm gonna say Obviously, you're gonna want to keep a, uh, a certain part So I'm gonna go back and we're gonna take a look so for the beam rifle You're absolutely gonna want to max out all these buy every single one max this weapon out I think it's going to be fairly good in the long run. Uh, obviously, you gotta kind of see where like what's going to be more beneficial but like i mentioned uh if you maybe if you have like a more melee oriented beam um suit so like with the zeta body this would pair up extremely well with that um but yeah i, th I think overall the main weapon is going to be good the clay bazooka is going to be pretty good um if you really want some decent arms that have a halfway decent ex skill uh, you can use those. Uh, I, I I really wouldn't go for them. I just kind of bought them out just to buy them out. Uh, but everything else, I mean, me personally, I wouldn't invest any extra coins into it. Uh, I'm pretty much done. I think I might buy uh, enough to max out the clay bazooka. Uh, but for the most part, I'm done with this. I'm done with this event. I got what I needed. Um, don't really need anything else in this entire event. So I'm pretty much good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just grind the uh, the hard missions. Uh, but yeah, my assessment, get the uh, get the beam rifle, get the bazooka, that's really all you need. Everything else, and you can sell for platinum coins, which isn't bad, but uh, yeah, I would just skip them all. Uh, but that's all for me, guys. Definitely thank you all for watching. Uh, I'm going to try and put out one more analysis video before the next event pops. Uh, if I don't, I don't, sorry, but uh, I'm going to try and get these out as fast as I can because they're pushing mobile suits out three, three per week, so I would have to do three analysis videos per week and that's something that's a little bit difficult for me um two is more or less ideal but yeah man they're pushing a lot of mobile suits on us and that's that's it's kind of sucky uh but yeah that's it for me guys definitely thank you all for watching uh please comment subscribe like the video if you can it really helps me out helps the community out by getting these videos out there so that way uh, some new people that are finally getting into this game, they can really see, you know, what's going on. They can get some tips and tricks, and it can overall improve the game uh, gameplay. But yeah, so that's all from me, guys. I'll be seeing y'all in the next video. Bye bye.